يلا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم عليكم السلام السلام سامعيني واضح الصوت واضح الصوت سامعيني اه دكتورة واضح دكتورة واضح واضح دكتورة اوكي So today إن شاء الله رح نحكي على second part of the رح نبلش بال lower respiratory tract diseases رح نحكي على الأتيلكتسز ورح نحكي على الأكيوت respiratory distress syndrome and we will talk about the pulmonary vascular blood vessels يعني diseases affecting the blood vessels primarily and they could involve the vasculature of the lung affecting the pulmonary function حدا بيحكي ما في صوت مش سامعيني؟ احنا سامعين اوكي كله تمام دكتور سو ويل ستارت ويز اتيلكتسز اتيلكتسز اور ان براكتس كولابس از ذا لوس اوف لونج فوليوم دو تو ان اديكويت اكسبانشن اوف ذا اير سبيسز So what happens with atelectasis in a very simple way? Usually, the alveoli normally they form like a sac, an open sac. Hakina upon inhalation, تنفخ شوي الساق. Upon exhalation, with بصير الهاش وايت بتقل in in size, بقل حجمها بس it does not collapse. ما بتسكر ليش هكينا؟ لأنه في عنا سرفاكتان. بها سرفاكتن ذات بيعمل لي زي سيرفيس تنشن بمنع الكولابس اوف ذا الفيلاي الاتيلكتسز ان ا سامبل واي لما الالفيلاي ذي كلوز بصير في كولابس اوف ذا الفيلاي بسكره اوكي اند ذيس از ديو تو ان اديكويت اكسبانشن اوف اير سبيسز وراح نشوف الديفرنت تايبس اوف اتيلكتسز اند ذا ديفرنت ايتيولوجيز اور كوزز Atelectasis is variable. It could involve a segment of the lobe. It could involve a whole lobe, or it could be involve the whole lung, right or left lung, or both bilateral. It depends. It may be reversible if the cause is removed. So, if in some of the cases, if the cause is removed or treated, the lung into its normal capacity, its normal ability to expand. Telectasis is mainly of three types. Uh, either, رح نحكي عنهم طبعاً in details كلهم. Resorption atelectasis, compression atelectasis, and contraction atelectasis. So the first type, which is resorption atelectasis, أو اللي سميناها in brackets obstructive. ليه سميناها obstructive? لأنها it results from obstruction. يعني cause تبع الاتلكتسس in the cases of resorption, Atelectasis is obstruction, and obstruction usually involves either a major branch of the trachea or minor branches of the trachea. Will obstruction, or where does the obstruction happen? Tati outcome. It gives the outcome. يعني وين رح يصير الاتلكتسس. So what are the causes of obstruction? بالعادة لازم يكون في obstruction of the airways. يعني obstruction of the trachea and the tracheal branches. Bronchi, bronchioles, and so on. And most of the time it involves the levels of the bronchi and the tracheal branches, main tracheal branches. So it causes either a foreign body, foreign body, salo aspiration, دخل through the trachea, And it is it becomes lodged in one of the branches. It could be due to mucus plug, asthmatic persons, or بال ناس اللي عندهم مثلاً like for for example cystic fibrosis disease. هدول الناس بيكون في عندهم thick mucus production, and this thick mucus ممكن يعمل لي obstruction of the trachea. It could be post surgery. الناس اللي post surgery. ما بيعملوا adequate expansion of the lung because of the pain. They 
tend to uh, reduce pain, especially in the people who chest surgery, for open heart surgery, so that they don't have pain on inspiration, they don't have complete inspiration. So there's no adequate expansion, there's enough expansion of the lung. For a tumor, tumor it could be uh, from the surrounding, and it has pressure on the bronchus or the main branches of the bronchi, تعمل لي اوبستراكشن. ايش اللي بصير؟ ليش سميناها ريزوربشن اتيلكتسز؟ لانه the main thing انه there is no no air entering this area اللي هو distal to the obstruction. At the same time the air that was in there before the obstruction يعني الاير اللي كان اوريدي دخل قبل ما يصير الاوبستراكشن بصير له Absorption or resorption. I should explain it as resorption at the lactoses. When the air is low, resorption or absorption from the alveoli, they got collapsed. We see the field home collapse. Okay. Another concept, as I'm trying to know, at the lactoses is what we call the mediastinal shift. Mediastinal shift in the lungs. لما يصير في واحدة فيهم أتيلكتسز بصير في unequal pressure on both lungs فبتصير المدياستنا المدياستنا اللي هو structures اللي موجودين in between the lungs it shifts to one side in case of أتيلكتسز لأنه صار في decrease in the volume of air entering this lung The other lung, which is the normal lung, the lung التانية اللي هي normal ما فيها obstruction, تنفخ هوا أكتر. ف it pushes على الجهة اللي فيها الاتيلكتسز. So the mediastinal shifts happens to the same side of atelectasis in this case. This is another representation what happens بصير في عندي obstruction of one of the um, major tracheal branches or bronchial branches. Then there will be inadequate ventilation. Again, the other lung, the normal lung, uh, has a higher volume of air entering into this lung. So it's really pushing toward the side that has a resorption at the lactosis. So the mediastinal shift happens to the same side. بعرف إنه البيشنت عنده مدياستنال شفت بتطلع بالإكس راي على التركية مني التركية بالإكس راي بتبين ليش لأنه فيها كارتليج فيها كارتليج رينجز أوف كارتليج فلما بعمل الإكس راي تشست إكس راي التركية بتكون مبينة أوكي كيف بعرف إنه في مدياستنال شفت لما بتزيح التركية على ون سايد بتكون مايلة مش مستقيمة أوكي so this is the shift of mediastinum it happens toward The same side, leafy atelectasis, resorption atelectasis. Next type of atelectasis is what we call compression atelectasis. Compression atelectasis, men ismha compression, there is something compressing on the lung. Ashan hek ma fi ha adequate expansion. I allow four questions by the way, okay? For compression atelectasis, leh ikun fi. Pressure from outside, something compressing the lung from outside. And this compressing thing, most of the time, the corn is in the pleural cavity. I'm not sure if both lungs are surrounded by uh, pleural spaces. The pleural spaces have a very small amount of fluid. Sometimes we see excessive collection of fluid, some pleural effusion. The pleural effusion it passes on the lung from outside. Then, the lung ma bisir fiha adequate expansion. Ma fiha enough expansion um, uh, of the airways. It could be also gas. Mishati kon fluids, mumkin gases, especially after uh, following trauma. Bisir fi anti lusamina nsami pneumothorax. Pneumothorax put hol air into the pleural. Space and it presses on the lung. In this case, the compression atelectasis, the mediastinal shift happens to the opposite side. Leish, no, if pressure from outside, the fluid or gas is 
pressing on the lung and shifting the mediastinum opposite to the side of the uh, compression atelectasis. Third type, we have contraction atelectasis. The contraction atelectasis is mainly due to fibrosis. And this fibrosis either involves the pleural cavity or the lung itself. Once the pleural cavity becomes fibrosed, or lung itself is if you have fibrosis, it will become fixed in place. Ma fi ha movement, ma fi proper movement, so there will be no mediastinal shift. Mediastinum with the low in the center. There will be no mediastinal shift. Morphology of atelectasis. As we mentioned, atelectasis in a simple way, in a alveolus with the matcoon air filled with air but still collapsed. So what happens? In this picture, this is the normal, the upper left side of the picture. This is the normal appearance of the lung, of the alveoli, and spaces, in here. The abyad is air, basically, space, mafi tissues. And these bridge, bridges, our tissues in between, alveolar walls, okay? This is the normal appearance. Compare this to this side of the picture, which is the lower right side of the picture. In alveoli, you saw that slit-like spaces. There is a compression, there is a collapse. We can say the word in brackets, collapse. Collapsed, okay? There is a collapse, there are slit-like spaces, uh, slit-like spaces, alveolar spaces. Mafi uh, expansion, enough air uh, entering these spaces. Like previously, the outcome of atelectasis depends on the cause. يعني مثلاً, like for example, if there is a pleural fluid or pneumothorax, and the water, the water, the water, the water, the water, the fluid, the removal of the uh, fluid in the pleural cavity will turn normal, the lung into the normal size and expansion. إذا كان في عندي obstruction, uh, if the obstruction is relieved, بترجع اللانج, um, as long as it's not necrotic, بترجع اللانج into its normal um, expansion capacity. So the outcome depends on the cause, on the underlying cause and the management of the cause. Okay, I'll allow for some questions now. Lana. دكتورة بالنسبة للري أبسوربشن هلا يعني الهواء اللي بيكون أصلا جوا الرئة راح يفوت على الدم اه بصير له ري أبسوربشن يس اه وما بيطلع بداله السي أو 2 هلا هي بتصير على لونج تيرم اوكي يعني ات ات دازنت هابن لايك ان ا فيري 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 رابيد أونسيت أول شيء ذيس اير سبيسز ما بيكونوا فالي Irated, يعني ما بيدخل عليهم أكسجين شيء إنه ال 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 CO2 رح يطلع، okay؟ يعني ال gas exchange in the area اللي بصير فيها atelectasis بيكون defective، ما في proper gas exchange in this area، okay؟ ما فيها it does not communicate with the air spaces أو ال air ال conductive airways عشان يدخلها air ويصير فيها gas exchange. So it will be reabsorbed into the blood, okay? يعني بيصير له reabsorption وما بطلع محله إشي فبتسكر. Yes. تمام. شكرا. وبعده. ترى بالcompression at at the last stages. ممكن ترجع على السعيد. Atelectasis, okay, atelectasis. Atelectasis. Uh, okay. Fine. Let's let's shift to opposite side. My center. To the opposite side, okay. Hello. Imagine in this picture, that we have a collection of fluids, the pleural space. The fluid exerts pressure on the lung from outside. For example, like in this patient on the right side. We're looking at the patient from 
من 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 فرونت فيو من قدام شايفينه وصار في كولكشن اوف فلويد اون ذا رايت سايد هذا الفلويد ات ويل بريس بريس اون تو ذات سايد يعني راح يصير يعمل لي بريشر تو ذا سايد هيك تور ذا سايد اوكي فراح يدفع الابنورمال لونج والنورمال يعني الابنورمال لونج تور ذا سايد اوف ذا نورمال لونج Okay. شكرا دكتور هذا عنده سؤال كمان اوكي وي موف تو ذا نيكست ديزيز ويتش از اكيوت ريسبيراتوري ديستريس سندروم الاكيوت ريسبيراتوري ديستريس سندروم از بيسكلي ذا ا جروب اوف Diseases, genetic syndrome, syndrome, and diseases affecting multiple organs. I mean, it does not primarily it involves the lung, but later on, one can usually patient be multi organ failure. Main is that it's acute, so it is rapid onset, sudden onset, respiratory distress. We're talking about what is meant by distress. And syndrome, because it's not a single disease entity, it is a clinical manifestation or clinical appearance of the patient. Mumkin ikon arises from multiple causes. Li rah nihki anha. Other thing, why she kena anha syndrome? Because it involves multiple organs, not just the lung. So it starts in the lung. But then, when she has hypoxemia. ممكن يصير في عندي ملتيبل ملتيبل اورجان فيلير اند ذا بيشنت ميت داي مايت داي اوكي الاكيوت ريسبيرتوري ديستريس سندروم الها ديفينيشن بنسميه البرلين كرايتيريا مش مطلوبه منكم اوكي بس جاست تو نو ات از ديفايدد اكوردينج تو ذس كرايتيريا انتو مايلد مودريت اند سيفير في ملتيبل Um, indices اللي هم زي مثلا ال pressure of the O2 من كل نسبة الأكسجين اللي بينعطى للبيشنت لها definitions خاصة مش مطلوبة منكم بس مهم تعرفوا إنه it's variable in severity it could be mild يعني خفيفة moderate متوسطة or severe uh, اللي هو سيئة okay so it's different عشان هيك later on Uh, لما رح نحكي على الاوتكم رح نحكي انه في ناس they resolve totally يعني بيشفوا تماما من الاكيوت ريسبيرتوري ديستريس سندروم وفي ناس they die وفي ناس بيصير في عندهم um, uh, fibrosis يعني بيصير في عندهم chronic sequelae بضل عندهم lung function is not normal اوكي okay. acute respiratory distress syndrome او ال ARDS is a clinical syndrome شايفين كان clinical يعني depends on the presentation of the patient will findings of the patient caused by diffuse alveolar capillary and epithelial damage diffuse alveolar capillary and epithelial damage actually بصير في histological picture corresponding to the acute respiratory distress syndrome is known as diffuse alveolar damage اللي بصير الالفيولاي they become totally distracted ليش؟ لأنه بصير في عندي alveolar capillary injury and epithelial damage يعني type 1 pneumocytes they become necrotic and the alveolar capillary becomes also necrotic or abnormal okay characterized by rapid onset عشان هيك حكينا acute of respiratory insufficiency and dyspnea يعني dyspnea يعني difficulty in breathing يعني بيكون ال patient is gasping for breathing تعرفوا هذا ال appearance difficulty in breathing بنسميها دسنية cyanosis means bluish discoloration mainly بيصير around the lips يعني lips they turn into blue and nails nails بيبينوا أو nail beds بيبينوا bluish in color هذا بنسميه 
cyanosis. ليش cyanosis؟ لأنه ما في adequate oxygenation، ما في oxygen reaching the body. So they start to, ha- to have a bluish appearance, bluish discoloration. The third is hypoxemia. Hypoxemia means decrease in the level of oxygen and blood. So أي أي كلمة فيها إيميا means blood level. Hypoxy معناته decrease in oxygen level. So hypoxemia that becomes refractory to oxygen therapy and may progress to multisystem organ failure. يعني refractory to oxygen therapy يعني قد ما نعطي الpatient 100% oxygen ما بستفيد ما بعلى ال-PO2 ليش؟ لأنه الممبرين which is for gas exchange اللي مكون من type 1 pneumocytes والcapillaries if you remember لما حكينا على last lecture is totally distracted damaged diffuse alveolar damage damaged زي ما حكينا ليش بنحكي عن هذا السندروم لانها it could progress into multi system organ failure زي ما حكينا under the microscope histologic manifestations is known as diffuse alveolar damage وراح افرجيكم a minute what is diffuse alveolar damage etiology what are the causes Etiology could be related to direct injury, يعني injury affecting the lung itself, زي pneumonia, اللي هو inflammation or infection of the lung parenchyma, aspiration of gastric contents, gastric contents entering into the uh, lungs, pulmonary contusion, اللي هو trauma to the lungs, near drowning, اللي هم الناس اللي بيغرقوا um, بس they survive. Toxic inhalation, inhalation of toxic substances. The indirect injury or the systemic diseases affecting secondarily the lung are the most common one who was sepsis, which is the presence of bacteria or organisms in the blood. Multiple trauma, multiple bone fractures, trauma and severe burns, multiple blood transfusions, drug overdose, Acute pancreatitis, but acute pancreatitis is a release of certain substances that can do lysis of the or damage of the alveoli, or it could also lead to uh, damage of the surfactant and decrease in the production of the surfactant, the acute pancreatitis. Uremia, كمان, which is secondary to renal failure, is a release of abnormal substances that might lead to damage of the uh, alveoli. Clinical picture, visual patients, it's an acute onset, severe dyspnea, rapid hypoxemia, and cyanosis. يعني all of a sudden, we see the patient and uh, difficulty in breathing, he becomes uh, cyanose, we see low nose, wish in color, and Uh, um, hypoxemia decreased in the O2 pressure. Bilateral severe pulmonary edema in the absence of left ventricular failure because both lungs are edematous, because lungs are white in color. Geological evidence of bilateral pulmonary infiltrates. We do an X-ray on lungs, we do an CT scan, we do lungs uh, having an infiltrate white in color. Multi-system failure in the late stages. Uh, this is a schematic representation of what happens by diffuse alveolar damage or in the acute respiratory distress syndrome. So the main abnormality is an imbalance, imbalance between the pro-inflammatory mediators and the anti-inflammatory activity. Basically, It starts with inflammation. And we will see if the inflammation due to, like, for example, to pneumonia, COVID-19, uh, virus enters into the lung, the alveoli, and induces an inflammatory response. But we see if you the inflammation, we see if you the capillaries become more permeable, but the fluids and proteins into the alveoli. 
بصير في عندي activation of neutrophils activation of macrophages مع production of some of the mediators like interleukin 6 interleukin 8 mercosis factor alpha interleukin um, Oxidants, proteases, leukotrienes from the neutrophils. كل هدول they exert a destructive activity. بيعملوا destruction to the endothelial cells and the epithelial type one cells. They become necrotic. Okay. The late stages. أحيانا بصير في عندي induction of the fibroblastic growth. And production of collagens due to mediators released from the macrophages. The partial fibroblasts they cause fibrosis. And this is the cause of, they um, say, in a subset of patients they survive and they end up having chronic lung fibrosis. Pathogenesis, so there will be involvement of vascular endothelial cells and alveolar epithelial cells, mainly type 1 pneumocytes. Endothelium leads to increased permeability and severe edema. The epithelium is in the decrease in the surfactant. The Mahikana injury is mainly due to imbalance of pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory mediators. Macrophages releases interleukin. Eight interleukin one tumor necrosis factor alpha activation of neutrophils with allele oxidants proteases platelet activating factors leukotrienes which leads also to tissue damage. The late stages macrophages release some of the transforming uh, uh, growth factor with platelet derived growth factor stimulates the fibroblast growth and leads to fibrosis. All of the previous can be counteracted by endogenous antiproteases, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory cytokines. The balance between the two determines the outcome of the patient. If the canal anti-inflammatory factors stop this sequelae or this cascade of damage, one can the patient uh, into the normal function. Okay. What is PD growth factor? What is PD? Platelet derived growth factor. Okay. Uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome has two phases mainly the acute phase and the chronic phase, our fibrosing, our organizing phase. The acute phase, which is the onset of injury, for example, one has inhalation of toxic substances. Or there is a sudden infection by, like, for example, whatever virus or bacteria. We finish the acute phase. But acute phase, we see mainly we see if we diffuse alveolar damage. The alveoli, type one pneumocytes, will endothelial cells will become necrotic and injured. There will be congestion of capillaries, necrosis of the alveolar epithelial cells, interstitial and intraalveolar hemorrhage and edema. The hallmark of diffuse alveolar injury or diffuse alveolar damage is formation of what we call hyaline membranes. The hyaline membranes are on fibrin, this pink area, this pink membrane lining the alveoli, are on fibrin, necrotic debris, remnants of epithelial cells, edema. Them in some male hyaline membranes, and the hyaline membranes are characteristic of diffuse alveolar damage or diffuse alveolar injury. This is another picture. So, if you know hyaline membrane, the architecture is normal, ma fi and the proper alveolar septa. If you shift to alveolar septa, but normal histology, if you come here, very thin membranes, how well in spaces. This architecture is totally abnormal. There are many inflammatory cells in between, and there is hyaline membrane formation, which is characteristic of diffuse alveolar damage. Second phase, our organizing phase, actually, is there is resolution or relief of the acute phase, and there is resolution of the infection. أو مثلاً صار في removal of the inhaled toxic substances راحت من ال lungs or whatsoever. بلشوا type two pneumocytes to 
regenerate to proliferate in an attempt to regenerate the epithelium uh, of the alveolar lining. There will be also organization of the necrotic material. Uh, this leads to the formation of these fibrous areas. Shafin Hadola Amakin, Limabia, alveolar space. These are all fibrosis inside the alveoli. I mean, some organizing phase. In addition, with Alfian, the thickening of the alveolar septa. Those nas, they they will have an abnormal, a permanently abnormal pulmonary function. يعني ما برجعوا للنورمال pulmonary function. بضلوا عندهم fibrosis of the lung, or بضل الأكسجين level بضل الأكسجين dependent. إذا شفتوا عمركم حدا ماشي وحاط الأكسجين in his nose وبيكون عنده حتى الأسطوانة الأكسجين بيأخذها معه everywhere. دولا بضلوا they do not return to normal. Pulmonary function. Clinical course, Hakena is dependent on the severity of the acute respiratory distress syndrome and dependent on the etiology as well. So, up to 85% of the cases develop the symptoms within 72 hours of exposure to the causatives, the methylene sepsis, methylene acute pancreatitis. Within three days, they develop. The difficulty in breathing, dyspnea, hypoxemia, or cyanosis. If patients survive the acute stage, diffuse interstitial fibrosis may occur with continued compromise of respiratory function, the organizing phase. Patients surviving acute insult and they spare the chronic sequelae, ma bisirfi and the chronic sequelae, they return to normal function within six to twelve months. Again, it's dependent on the etiology dependent on the severity of the acute respiratory distress syndrome and the status of the patient. inhaler. <laughs> ما ما راح يزبط لانه المشكله عنده من اللنج. يس. طب شو بيقدر يسوي تم انه يرفع الاكسجين عنده ولا خلاص؟ هذول بالعاده بيكونوا محطوطين على شيء بنسميه الميكانيكال فنتليتر. اوكي اذا عمركم شفتوهم بالاي سي يو بيكون في زي تيوب انسايد ذير ماوس. This is a mechanical ventilator. In this mechanical ventilator, احنا بنحاول نوصل الاكسجين into the blood. In a forced way. The oxygenation of them is low, but we are trying to maintain the minimum requirement of the oxygen or the organ oxygen. So I see that there is multi-organ failure. Okay, we give them mechanical ventilation. So we put the oxygen in the blood. We put the oxygen. As much as we can, and no, not the oxygen, and most low as much as we can. The the lungs, the the blood, the the present in the lungs, especially if there was no total destruction, meaning in the acute stages, mild or moderate cases, to give the oxygen in a forced way, meaning we try to get the oxygen as much as we can to the blood of the patient. Through the mechanical ventilation. Mortality of it is high. Yes, yes. In severe cases, yes, yes. In severe cases, yes. I mean, one of the nurses who passed away from COVID nineteen, they passed away because of the acute respiratory distress syndrome. Thank you. Had a question. دكتورة الأكيوت فيز والأورجانيزينج فيز الاثنين ما بيرجعوا للوضع الطبيعي؟ لا لا احنا حكينا انه الاوت كم هلا رجع على كلينيكال اوت كم في عندي ثري جروبس جروب ذي داي سكند جروب اف ذي سيرفايف ذا اكيوت ستيج وبيكون عندهم سيفير انجري تو ذا لونج ذي اند اب هافينج انترستيشال فايبروسيس The third group, if they can't have mild, mild involvement, mild diffuse 
alveolar damage وما صار في عندهم اكسبوجر prolonged exposure لتوكسيك سبستانسز او للسبتيسيميا اور وات سو ايفر they have restored pulmonary function يعني بيرجعوا للنورمال within 6 to 12 months so a group بيكون فيه total resolution group بيكون فيه they end up having interstitial fibrosis and a group who die from the first phase, the acute phase. Okay. Rua. Doctor, you talked about the indirect injury in the head trauma and severe burns. So, do you mean severe burns in like the smoke or the hot air or the burn itself? Yeah, it's related to the بالانفليمت اير بالانفليمت بيرن او لا؟ يس الاثنين اول شيء البيرنز بروفايدز او الاكسسيف بيرنز او الوايد اريا اوف ذا بيرنز تعمل لي سيفير ديهايدريشن ان ذا فيرست انستنس الشغله الثانيه بروح البارير اوف ذا سكن سو البيشنت بيكون مور بريديسبوز تو هاف انفكشنز اند سبتيسيميا يعني انفكشنز اللي بتدخل على البلاد سبسس اند سبتيسيميا The third thing, which is the inhalation of the hot flames, can cause direct injury to the airways. Okay, so it involves both the direct, the inhalation of the of the toxic substances that come out from the burn or from the hot air, and the dehydration and the septicemia risk in the patients who have severe burns. اوكي تمام طيب الهيد تروما بتكون عندنا بس انه لها علاقه بالاتش بلس ريسبتورز او او ممكن توضحيها اكثر يعني كيف شو علاقتها بالريسبيراتري سيستم؟ اوكي الهيد تروما ممكن ات مايت انفولف ذا كارديو ريسبيراتري سيمتوم سنتر مثلا او ام نوت شور اف ات ويل ليد تو ابنورماليتيز ان ذا بالمونري فانكشن ديو تو ريليس اوف سبستانسز ام نوت شور بس if it involves the cardiorespiratory center راح يصير في عندي stoppage of breathing abnormal um, uh, abnormal oxygenation uh, راح يصير patient becomes hypoxic or hypoxemic very rapidly okay come on thank you So pulmonary disease of vascular origin. These are group of diseases affecting the blood vessels, and secondarily, they involve the the blood vessels of the of the lungs, and secondarily, they affect the function of the lungs. These groups involves our group of diseases involves pulmonary embolism, pulmonary hypertension. Diffuse alveolar hemorrhage syndromes. In diffuse alveolar hemorrhage syndromes, they are a group of diseases. Men is them harm. They will have diffuse hemorrhage into the alveolar spaces. And most of them are immune mediated. They will get Pasteur's syndrome. Will get Pasteur's syndrome because of them harm involvement of the lung and the kidney um, due to autoantibodies. Against the basement membrane of the blood vessels, idiopathic pulmonary hemostrosis, and Wigner's granulomatosis, which is a sort of vasculitis that could involve the lung as well. No inflammation of the blood vessels. Oral disease and pulmonary embolism. And pulmonary embolism, we talked about it a lot in the hemodynamics. If you remember, last semester. 95% of the pulmonary emboli, they originate from the deep veins of the legs. Exposing causes any she bamal stasis or bamal hypercoagulable status, bamalli deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary emboli. Prolonged bed rest, prolonged surgery, pregnancy or birth control pills, lumal and bamalu hypercoagulability status. Examinated cancer, my release of some of the cutting uh, uh, hypercoagulable um, uh, factors. Hypercoagulability states, 
other inherited causes of hypercoagulability اللي حكينا عنهم اذا بتتذكروا البروتين سي والبروتين اس ان ديفيشنسي والانتي ثرومبين 3 ان ديفيشنسي ان سو اون clinical features 60 to 80% بيكون في عندهم very small uh, pulmonary emboli and they are asymptomatic ما بيعملوا symptoms 5% of the cases بصير في عندهم sudden death بيكون pulmonary embolus is large and it becomes lodged in a big blood vessel big pulmonary artery or a big branch وبيعمل لي sudden death could lead the big emboli into acute right-sided heart failure or acute core pulmonary or cardiovascular collapse or shock. In 15% of cases, we see if you obstruction of a small blood vessel, mainly pulmonary infarction, and you have an example here, or 3% of the cases, we can find multiple emboli or multiple recurrent attacks of emboli, Collectively, هدول ال small emboli بيعملوا لي إيش منسمي ال chronic heart pulmonary أو ال chronic right sided heart failure. The risk of one attack of pulmonary embolism, they have thirty percent recurrent attacks. عشان هيك بالعادة الناس اللي بيصير في عندهم PE أو ال pulmonary embolisms بيكون في عندهم recurrent cases. يعني ممكن يصير في عندهم thirty percent of the cases they might develop another pulmonary embolism and so on. Morphology, if you remember, again, a pulmonary infarction is mainly hemorrhagic. Leish, leish hemorrhagic pulmonary infarctions. لأنه بحاول إنه يفتح على ال bronchial arteries. صح لأنه فيها dual blood supply. يعني it is supplied by two types of blood vessels. واحد فيهم is obstructed, والثاني is still patent. بصير في عندي زي hemorrhage in the area due to abnormal circulation, abnormal circulation with dual blood vessel. Next disease is pulmonary hypertension. بال pulmonary hypertension إيش اللي بصير؟ بصير في عندي resistance of blood flow through the pulmonary circulation. يعني بتشبه systemic hypertension, but this happens in the pulmonary blood vessels. The causes, it could be primary or secondary. Primary, uh, mostly inherited diseases in young females, or it could be sporadic, like 6% of familial cases transforming growth factor beta. Uh, trans transforming growth factor beta become be them defective function of the receptor that leads to increase in the resistance of the uh, circulation uh, in the pulmonary circulation. There are hundreds of genes involved in the pulmonary hypertension development. Secondary causes, chronic lung diseases, affection of the blood vessels, recurrent pulmonary emboli, with the pressure inside the blood vessels, and have terminal obstruction to the outflow, and some of the cardiac diseases. Pathogenesis, إيش اللي بصير؟ بصير في عندهم defective in the endothelial function and smooth muscle proliferation. Endothelial cells, they will be abnormal. They do not produce nitrous oxide and prostacyclins. فما بصير في عندي enough uh, vasodilatation. They will have, these blood vessels will have vasoconstriction. Reduction of growth factors and cytokines that induce migration, replication of the vascular smooth muscles, elaboration of extracellular matrix. So let us show the abnormalities in the blood vessels depends on the size of the blood vessels. So, in the big blood vessels, we see the atheroma development. Let us show you a picture. Medium-sized muscular arteries, intimal and smooth muscle proliferation. Small arteries, we see them medial hypertrophy. And in long-standing cases, we see the development of plexiform lesions, which are endothelial proliferation forming multiple lumina within the small arteries. So this is big blood vessel. Again, the big blood vessels, we see mainly atheroma formation in the wall of the blood vessel. And when you take the cardiovascular system, we will know the mechanism behind the development of atheroma. 
and what are the components of the earth atheroma and so on. Well, medium-sized arteries, we can find the thickening of the intima and thickening of the muscle wall, muscle wall proliferation. Well, small blood vessels, we can find the command muscle, smooth muscle proliferation. And in long-standing cases, again, we can the formation of what we call plexiform lesions. The plexiform lesions, we see in the blood vessel into a single lumen develops one, two, three lumens, and so on. Okay, this is another picture for pulmonary hypertension. Blood vessels be zero more stiff, be zero shy, thick, and more stiff um, uh, in the lung. There will be a smooth muscle proliferation, the appearance of limnosopho as onion skinning. Layers of smooth muscles are proliferating. مع narrowing of the lumen. يعني اللومن بتصير أصغر من النورمال من الطبيعي. Plexiform lesions, blood vessel with multiple lumens. شايفين هون one lumen, two, three, four, five, maybe six, six lumens. Normally, the blood vessel في a single lumen بس. بال uh, well, pulmonary hypertension, we see the plexiform lesions due to endothelial cell proliferation, by multiple lumens inside the blood vessel. Another disease, which is diffuse alveolar hemorrhage syndromes, again, they are a group of diseases where there is hemorrhage into the alveolar spaces. Most of the cases are immune mediated, they may have good pastures. Um, uh, syndrome is mainly immune mediated. Clinically, they present with triad of hemoptysis, actual hemoptysis. Actual hemoptysis. Hey, uh Coughing up of blood? Yes, coughing up of blood, excellent. So, coughing up of blood, leash, because the alveoli are filled with blood. When, when they, once they cough up, the air will be blood. Anemia, which is iron deficiency anemia, because there is a loss of blood in the alveoli. Diffuse pulmonary infiltrates, because there is blood instead of air. The alveoli are filled with blood. This is the histological appearance of the hemosodron laden uh, of uh, diffuse uh, uh, alveolar hemorrhage. Actually, we see the alveolar spaces, but I can see them far out the nose. See them hemosodron laden macrophages. Those are macrophages. See them hemosodron. Hemosodron, green, brown in color, brown to yellowish in color. دول كلهم ماكروفاجز جايين ماكلين الهيموسيدرين او البلد الهيموجلوبين وطلعوا منه هيموسيدرين فبينوا هيموسيدرين ليدن ماكروفاجز ليدن يعني فيلد ويز ماكروفاجز فيلد ويز هيموسيدرين اوكي طبعا المانجمنت ديبندس اون ذا كوز مثلا ان كيس اوف اميون ميدييتد ديزيزز اما بنعطي اميون سبرسيف ثيرابي we نعمل electrophoresis من شيل ال auto antibodies من blood and so on. بال Wegener's granulomatosis نعطي immunosuppressive therapy to stop the vasculitis process. هذا عنده سؤال. Okay. I'm sending some questions by emails. Uh, okay, if you had to on a single lesion, single lesion معناها it's a solitary lesion. Solitary يعني one lesion. يعني ما بيكون مثلاً بال papillomas ما بيكون في عندي more than one lesion على the vocal cord. Usually it is a single lesion, just a one one lesion على the vocal cord. Had to on stroma. ستروما هي عبارة عن الكونكتيف تيشو اللي موجود بال بال بأي epithelial line tissue in the body يعني مثلا 
بالسكن تحت تحت الديرمس الابيديرمس في كونكتيف تيشو بنسميه ستروما مثلا ان بتوين ذا داكتس اوف ذا بريست كونكتيف تيشو بين الداكتس بنسميها ستروما اوكي بالاندوميتريوم في تيشو بين الاندوميتريال جلانس هاي بنسميها ستروما سو اتس ذا كونكتيف تيشو اكسكيوز مي اراوند ابيثيليال سيلز او تحت او اراوند ذا ابيثيليال لايننج هذا سأل عن النيزل فارينجايتس and common cold. The common cold is mostly rhinitis process. يعني it causes runny nose, ملي sneezing, frequent sneezing, ملي sometimes it might lead to sore throat. Yes, but most of the time it's a rhinitis process rather than a nasal pharyngitis. في بعض الفيروسز it causes dryness. And pain in the throat, or you have a sore throat. This is could be not related to the common cold virus. Any, it could be other types of viruses. Yes, common cold could cause nasopharyngitis, but it's mainly a rhinitis process. Any, after she, it involves the nose. They have the excessive secretions from the nose irritation of the nose, and they have the frequent sneezing and so on. هل عنده سؤال؟ أنا دكتورة. أحكي؟ بالأرنجة البابيلوما بالكلدان بتكون مالتبل نيو بلازم. مش هي عبارة عن بيناين تيومر؟ يس بيناين بس إحنا حكينا وننمي يعني ما بصير لها انتشار صح؟ يس مالتبل نيو بلازم. Okay, the neoplasm is something different. Neoplasm, معناها إذا بتذكروا حكيت لكم تعريف النيوبلازيا is anything في repetitive recurrent or recurrent mutations. سواء كان benign أو malignant. يعني النيوبلازم نقسمهم لبينين and malignant. Okay. يعني مش إنه البيناين مش نيوبلاستيك والمالجنت إز نيوبلاستيك لا الاثنين آر نيوبلاستيك فيهم ريكرنت جيناتيك إبنورماليتيز أو ميوتيشنز أوكي واحد منهم البيناين بضله بمكانه it does not metastasize بضله محترم حاله وما بيروح على السراوندينج تيشو والمالجنت إز أولسو نيوبلاستيك الاثنين آر نيوبلاستيك بس واحد بيناين واحد مالجنت المالجنت it invades to the surrounding tissue وبيروح بعمل ميتاستاسيز and so on. Both are neoplastic. يعني ال B9 is also a neoplastic process. ال B9 في recurrent genetic abnormalities. و it is a tumor. Tumor يعني صار في proliferation of a certain type of cell. أعطتني mass أو lesion أو papillary projection or whatsoever. بس still it's neoplastic. Okay? تمام شكرا. هذا عنده سؤال. دكتورة الساينوسايتس بناين. الساينوسايتس is inflammation okay. ما بيصير له يعني ما ما بتحول. لا 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 it does not transform ساينوسايتس لا it's an inflammatory process inflammation okay مش يعني ما في جيناتيك. اه ما في تيومر ما في جينز ما في جيناتيك ميتيشنز اه بس كنت بدي اعرف هل بصير له تيومر ولا لا تمام شكرا اوكي احنا هيك كملنا يعطيكم العافيه